How's it going guys? Equal here and welcome back to another week of the PGL. Uh, this week we're up against Lax and his Sydney Sea Kings and it's Music 21 that I want to go for. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous because I'd like to beat him because we lost 4-0 the first time. He brought the Cabo Tops. There's no Uxie which is great, which is dope. I need to take a picture of his team. I don't even have my phone up. I need to upload. I need to boot up Snapchat real quick. Like uh, he brought the Cabby Tots, which is great. That's friggity, friggity, fraggity perfect. Um, take a picture of his team. Yes, take a picture of his team. Thank you, Snapchat. You stupid thing. Um, didn't bring the cleft key, which is great. Downside is Nine Tails is not too good in this matchup. Swallow is. Um, I kind of want to leave with that just to U-turn out on anything. He doesn't have a ground type, so we can Volt Switch freely on anything. Um, I don't want to reveal the Air Balloon just yet, though. So I kind of want to just leave with Jet and Volt Switch. But I want Rocks up. So Crocodile might be the best option. Crocodile might be the best option. We can... Yeah, I'm going to leave with Crook. Get my Rocks up. Um... And if he goes into Rose Raid, we're kind of screwed. We'll just have to go into Nine Tails and hope for the best. Here's what we'll do. We'll have to go into Nine Tails and hope for the best. Let me get the pen up here. Okay. I'm going to turn down the volume on my part as well because it's quite loud. So. What's he going to bring? If you didn't see the team, go watch the team builder. It explains why I'm not speaking particularly loudly and why I've got the beanie on. Um, he leads with a Rose Raid, which is not good. He leads with a Rose Raid, not good. Uh, I need to bring up Calc's. Damage Calc. So. From this Crocodile here, which is custom, to this Rose Raid, which I'm going to say uh, is just offensive hazards, why not? We... Don't do anything with earthquakes. We can just we just have to swap out here. Um, I think nine tails. I think nine tails. I don't want to risk anything though, because like, how much will he do to us? Oh, that's I'm being dumb. That's level one hundred. Yeah, earthquake still doesn't kill. It has a chance to, but it still doesn't kill. Um, nine tails. Let's just say it's pu nasty plot. It doesn't matter. I got time. Fire Blast will kill, and at most he can do something like seventy-seven percent to me. So he might, he might try and do that. And then what I'm going to do is because I think he will be scarfed. Um, I'm going to swap out next turn into something that can take the hit. Into something that can take the hit. If he goes for Leaf Storm, Giga Drain. Fine. That tells me that he's probably not scarfed. He's probably not Scarf because normally you don't run Scarf Giga Drain, you run Scarf Leaf Storm just for massive damage. So what I can do here is Flamethrower or Solar Beam or do whatever. But I think... See, Cabo Tops is the obvious switch here, but I do have Solar Beam and that's kind of... Normally you run at Nine Tails with like Energy Ball or Solar Beam or something. So he might swap into Zapdos or Arcanine just to tank the hit. So I kind of want to go for Flamethrower here. To an Arcanine. Uh, UU Defensive, why not? At level 50 in the sun. Flamethrower. Is not doing a hell of a lot. I could Nasty Plot. Good nasty plot. Let me get this Nine Tails custom set up because I don't. Nine Tails custom set. If we're at plus two, Dark Pulse doesn't. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually swap right back out into Crocodile again. This is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to hope that he doesn't uh, slush bomb me. We don't really need Crook all that much. He withdraws. See, if he goes into the Cabo Tops, we outspeed and kill. If he goes into the Arcanine, we outspeed and kill. This thing gives us an opportunity to set up our rocks. 
So, I just need to make sure that he's not going to do anything to us, is all. Um, see, Heat Wave will do a bit of damage. I don't think we have to worry about it. I'm going to set up my rocks here. He, did, he has hazard removal in the what's it, in the cabbage tops, but I don't think he's going to just swap right out on into it because it's we're in the we're in the in the sun. So um, an aqua jet or a waterfall isn't doing all that much, which is great. Which is great. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah. The only thing I worry about is this mega heracross coming in. Is what I worry about. Swallow actually does wonders this 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 battle because it can deal with the. Uh, Rose Raid and the Heracross. And I can probably two shot that Miss Magius. I can probably two shot the Miss Magius. And, you know, this Arcanine and Zapdos, who are his bulky core, I think, aren't, uh, aren't taking facades all that well, so. So that's what we want. We want a uh, Swallow in here. We want to get that Flame Orb off, and we want to, we want to do work with that. So now he has to think about what he's going to do. Um, I'm, I'm going to get my rocks up here. I think what he's going to do is just go right out into the Rose Raid again. He might go into the Heracross to try and, I don't know, set up a Sword Stance maybe. Although Heracross has such a sky high attack, I don't know why he would need to. Um, if Heracross is coming in, we're going to have to do something. So he goes right out into the Rose Raid again. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what I wonder here is... Can we... No, we can't. I was going to say, can we go out to a regular Altaria just to take the least Storm? But I don't think we can. Um, Avalug will kill. We know this. We know this. He's probably just going to Sludge Bomb again. How much is he doing to this Avalug? If he's a Rose Raid. level 50. Um, yeah, we can't take two hits, which is the problem, because I can't avalanche him back. So. This Rose Raid is an issue, it's an issue, it's an issue, it's an issue. Do I need Crocodile? I would like it a lot. So yes. What do I not need? Honestly, Tomato seems like the Thing that I don't need the, the most. So I'm going to go into it. He's going to break my air balloon. He might not kill. He might not kill. Um, but solar power should probably kill us. And if he doesn't kill, then we can just Volt Switch or Thunderbolt to get off some nice damage or, or what. Um, he doesn't have the Clefki, so. You know. We might live this. We do. Comfortably. Uh, and we don't need the air balloon because he doesn't have the flygon, which is fine. Um, so this is good. Now we have a bit of initiative, which is great. So I can hit power ice here. If he's swapping into anything, actually, hidden power ice hits everything pretty hard, and we can outspeed whatever we want the next turn. My thing is, does a hidden power ice actually kill this thing in the sun? It does not. But I think that's fine. Because, like I say, we don't really need this thing. Not really. So I'm just going to hit Power Ice here. He's probably going to stay in and just go for damage. And we'll see if he is scarfed or not, because he'll outspeed us. So that would be nice. That would be nice, but I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think he's more than likely going to be Scarf Miss Magius. Because he needs stuff to outspeed me, you know. He needs to have to outspeed me. This Rose Raid is frail on the physical side. Miss Magus is frail on the physical side. Heracross is kind of all committed slow. Um, to be honest, he might be trying to bring a rain team. He might have rain dance on his Zapdos. So he stays in. We know that he's not Scarf. And that does a clean 50%. He goes for his own hidden power. I don't know what that was. That's kind of annoying. 
It's kind of annoying that I don't know what that was. So if we have Swellow here, who is healthy, a Pluck... Oh yeah, Pluck still kills. Pluck still kills from a mile away. So we can go out into Swellow here. A U-turn won't kill, which kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. But note that we haven't seen Leftovers. We haven't seen Life Orb. So... What is he? Um, I'm going to pluck. I'm going to pluck him, I think. I don't see a reason why not. Let's just pluck him. I would facade, but um, he's probably going to go out to the Kabutops. Um, which he doesn't. He goes into Arcanine. And we're not burned, so... This leads me to believe that he's physical. He's physically defensive. Which wouldn't surprise me. Get that pluck off. <laughs> We're only pluck swallow. Alright. Alright. Um, so that didn't do anything, as expected. So we can U-turn here. And go out into... Go out into... Probably our crocodile. So let's do that. Let's do that. Because I just need to make sure that a, a crocodile... Will kill this. It will. It will kill this Rosalia easily. Easily, it will kill this Rose Raid. So we can do that. We can do what to do. We can knock off anything, which is great. Which is great. Uh, so we U-turn here. Get a little bit of damage off. You know, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Um, and the problem is, the problem we face here is, can we at level 50 take a Flare Blitz from an Arcanine? We can, just barely. But if he has extreme speed, we're kind of screwed. So... I want to keep Arcanine. I want to keep uh, Thingy alive. I want to keep Thingy alive. Crocodile alive. Even with nine tails. Ah! Okay. What about this Altaria? Uh, this custom set here. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I know that we're not mega yet, um, but I think we can tank the hit. And as long as he doesn't burn me, we're fine. As long as he doesn't burn me, we're fine. And this is good because now we know that the Rose Raid isn't Scarf, we only need a plus one Dragon Dance. We only need a plus one Dragon Dance. And he stays in, so he's got something for me. Probably Hidden Power something. Probably hidden power something. So we're going to D-dance all over his face. All over his face. As he iron heads. We should live that. We do. That was a crit. I was about to say, we should live that. Um, and again, we know this, is, this thing isn't scarfed, so it's good. Um, if we're at plus one, an EQ. If we get a crit of our own, it'll kill. <sighs> How much does Iron Head do? See, I could roost here. I'm going to. I'm going to. Because I don't think that did more than 50%. Oh, fuck, I forgot I had stream speed. Shit. Ugh, okay. Fuck. I forgot about that. Damn. Alright. A knockoff from Crook. It doesn't do enough. This is if he's bulky. He's not bulky. He has to be physically offensive. He has to be physically offensive or that... Wouldn't have done enough. I think an earthquake will kill. Problem is that's so easy to read. We're gonna go out and spend two anyway, and we're probably just gonna knock off. I think we can take. I think we can take a flamethrower. <laughs> um, he's probably just gonna swap out. Let's be real here. He's probably gonna swap out. So if I lock myself into knock off, that's ideal. 
it'll hurt the Zapdos if we get rid of its leftovers. So let's do that. And if he swaps out now, we know that he is offensive and not defensive. Is that really offensive damage? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Custom set. Um, an iron head. No, that was defensive. What? That sucks ass. Alright. Okay. Alright. I mean, that's not the end of the world. It just really, really sucks. <laughs> it just really, really sucks. So now he's trying to think, is he going for knockoff or is he going for EQ? Because if he knocks off, I can stay in. If he EQs, I have to stop out. And it's all about this prediction here. It's all about this prediction here. So what's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to stay in. Bastard. <sighs> Crap. Get rid of the leftovers. Um... Fuck. We're not winning this battle. We're not... I'm, I'm calling it now. We're not winning. We're not winning. I don't think this Nine Tails can... Take anything. Okay, let me let me sort out this set here. Defensive at level fifty. Um a flamethrower. It's not got flare, but it's got flamethrower. In the sun, eh, it's not doing too much. It's not doing too much. Only problem is we can't do anything back. Which sucks. This is the problem with battling early in the morning, is that my head is just focusing on what I have to do today and I It's fine. He withdraws. Great. Fine. Into Rose Raid. Dandy. That's what well, that is, that's dandy. So Well to be honest. Do we have a reason to not nasty plot? Do we have a reason to not nasty plot? Level 50. Uh, yes, we do. An Arcanine will kill. Well, so we could just flamethrower here. We could solar beam. We could do whatever. If the Kabutops is scarfed, we're screwed. I'm going to flamethrower here just for big damage. Oh, we, we, he stays in, so we kill. So we kill this Rose Raider, which is good. Which is good. Get that thing up out. Get that thing up out. So if he goes into Kabutops here, we know that it's Scarfed. If he doesn't, it's probably not Scarfed. <laughs> in short, because he can Stone Edge me. A Waterfall won't do much, but he can Stone Edge me. He's Scarfed Kabutops. Okay. Okay, that's an excuse to go into Bandito, because I don't think a Stone Age will do all that much. See, I know that we outspeed you normally. I'm not willing to risk it. But in the sun, um, Bandito's great. I'm just... Because he might be Rapid Spin. If he's Rapid Spin, then he's not Scarf. So, like... He goes for the Stone Age, yep. He's not Rapid Spin. That does a hell of a lot of damage. Stop getting these crits! My word! Jesus. Okay. Okay. See, we outspeed this normally. He's a um, physical attacker. He's probably Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf. Level 50 versus this Crocodile. Because I need to know if I have to Earthquake here. I need to know if I have to Earthquake here, or if I can knock off. I have to EQ. But he has Miss Magius, and he has Zapdos. There and ready. Shit! 
Okay, I need to think about this. If I were him, and the Scarf Crocodile is facing my way, it's probably an EQ coming. So I'm probably going to swap out into something that can take the EQ, which is Zapdos more than likely. But I, knock, I knocked off last time, so... And can I really afford to lose Crook this early? Well, not really. I'm going to play it safe in EQ. Okay, he stays in. Good. Great. Dandy. Fucking perfect. Bye-bye. Get this thing up out. So down goes the Kabutops. And that is really all that's stopping my Ninetales. Apart from this Arcanine. There's like a, a little thing on my phone screen. A speck of something or other. So he's going to go out into one of his um, mons off the ground. Here. Probably the Mismage is to set up a nasty plot or a sub. Into Arcanine. To extreme speed me and finish me off. So. To be honest. Okay. Okay. This is this is kind of crazy, but I'm thinking about this. Um, if he goes for an E-speed on my Avalug, without rocks up, I reckon... We can nearly get back to full HP. We can nearly get back to full HP with the leftovers. So he E-speeds here. I think we're just going to miss out. Oh, we do, we just miss out. That's in the sun, so I have a feeling that a flamethrower is going to kill. We're going to avalanche here. He goes for morning sun, you bitch. Okay, he doesn't know we have earthquake. And then judging by this damage... doing nothing. It's doing nothing. He prepped so well for the sun. So well. I did not expect to see this thing. Okay. Nice. Good. Great. Good stuff. And we're out of range of an E-speed. We are out of range of an E-speed. So I'm going to uh, just stay in an Earthquake again. Yeah, because I thought we'd Morning Sun. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. So how much are we doing with this? Just under 50%, probably about 40%. So what set is he? I'm guessing it's some weird custom set. Because if we factor this in... So I don't think he's defense invested at all. Um, I think he's, he's specially defensive. He goes for the flamethrower here and down goes our Avalok, which we didn't really need. I should have sacked it off earlier to be honest and kept Heliolisk around. Heliolisk would have done better for us, but I couldn't um, do anything about those rocks. So, Swallow's burned here. And if Swallow's burned, a facade should kill. I think. It's a roll. It's a roll, but I think it should kill. Let's hope it does. Um, he's not got a rock type, so I can just freely facade on anything apart from... Oh, this Magius is still there. But what do we do to a Miss Magius? Can we just pluck a Miss Magius and kill it? No. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to go for the facade anyway. Oh, shit, he withdraws. Uh, 
Oh, it's into the Zapdos. That's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, if he went into the Ghost type, I would have been upset. I would have been upset. Let's get this off. Big damage! Yes! Big damage. I love Swallow so much. It hits so hard. So hard. Alright, down goes the Zapdos. And it's not a 4 0. Yeah. Good job, me. Um, if he brings it in, then I'm going to U turn. If he brings in the Arcanine, I'm going to Facade. If he brings in the Heracross, I'm going to Pluck. <laughs> and I'll kill it with a Pluck. Freaking Pluck. Pluck Swallow. See, this, this Swallow is a problem for his team, and he knows it. He knows it. Um, what do I have left? I have this thing, the Crocodile, and something else. Ninetales. Uh, Ninetales is still good for us. To fully utilize Ninetales, I need to get the Arcanine out of the way. And to be fair, if he comes in... If the Arcanine comes back in, I think I can just pluck it, because he's going to take Rock's damage. Uh, we can say he's, he's offensive, doesn't matter. Um, from level 50 Arcanine... Uh, a pluck should kill. This is fantastic, is what this is. Is what this is. Swallows our wink on here. I need to keep this thing alive. It seems like Miss Magius. See, if this thing is Scarf with Thunderbolt... Then... We might have a problem. Oh, uh, yeah. A Thunderbolt will kill. A Thunderbolt will kill. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out into Bandito. If he wants to set up a nasty plot or a, or a sub, um, then we know that he's not Scarf, and that's good, because Swallow will run house on his, 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 his team. Um... So that's what we want. That's what we want. If he goes for Thunderbolt, then we're immune. Which would be great. Which would be great. So, we go out into Bandito. He goes for the Sucker Punch. So he's not Scarf. Which is dope. Um... Let's see, he can just suck a punch and kill Bandito here, and I don't want him to do that. I don't want him to do that. Sucker punch Miss Magius? What? A sucker punch to a swallow? It's doing like 20%. I mean, hey, alright. See, now he's revealed it, he might think I want to swap out, which kind of makes me want to stay in and just knock off. Or in fact, just Earthquake, because Earthquake will do more damage. And it might kill the Arcanine. The Arcanine. See, we outspeed with the Ninetales. I just have to calc really quick whether I can afford to stay in here. Just ever so quickly calc it. In the sun, a Dark Pulse. I have time, I have time, I have time. Uh, level 50, level 50. Uh, I don't think I can. So I'm going to go out into Ninetales, I think. Just in case he wants to stay in and suck a punch. Just in case. Which, knowing Lax, he probably won't. He'll probably just swap out. Oh, he didn't. Yes, perfect. Fucking perfect. Okay. You know what? I can just nasty plot here. Because what's he doing to me? How much is a Shadow Ball doing to me? If he's max special attack modest. Um, uh, modest. A Shadow Ball... Is only doing up to 50%. And then an E speed from an Arcanine is doing 
30% max. So actually I can't really I can't really stay in and just nasty plot here. I don't I can't afford it. Um So Flamethrower does more to Arcanine, so I'm gonna stay in a flamethrower. Goes for the power gem. Which is interesting. But we're gonna get this sun boosted flamethrower off. And with that, Swello completely runs house on his team. I think. Yes, yeah, so he has to be seeking his power gem again. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the Arcanine's E speed. It should do 40%. Which with Sucker Punch damage, that's 20 plus 40, that's 60%. Um, which shouldn't kill. Which shouldn't kill. So, is it Pluck? It's Pluck. It's Pluck. Yeah, he goes for Sucker Punch. I was tempted to Roost there, but I didn't feel like it was all that necessary. Um, so the Miss Magus also goes down. This is going to be a close game. See, what I think he's going to do is he's going to sack off his Heracross here. So that an E-Speed will kill me. So I have to work around that. Please go into Arcanine. Please go into Arcanine. Actually, no, I don't think it will kill me. Unless he gets a crit. Please go into Arcanine here, please. I need you to go into Arcanine here, Lax. Be a buddy. Go on. Do it. <sighs> This is this is so nerve wracking for me. He goes down to Arcanine. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um and I can just facade. If we're at minus one. A facade. Oh, I don't want to risk it. No, I'm swapping out to Crocodile. No, because he could morning sun. He might predict that a morning sun. It's a roll. Is that no, that's I do anywhere between 30 and 37% if we're at minus one. I should kill. I should kill. Just in case he morning suns here. Just in case. And if he doesn't, then if he E speeds here and he lives, then we've just lost. Then we've just lost. He E speeds, don't live, don't get a crit. That's enough, I think. Yes! <laughs> okay. Perfect. Down goes the freaking Arcanine. Woo! So what we can do here is... Uh, unless Heracross gets Pursuit or some janky crap. Um, see, I don't think a Pluck and Minus One will kill a Mega Heracross. It won't. It won't, will it? Uh, yes, it will. If it's not defensive, yes, it will. So I don't actually have to sack our crocodile here. Really? If it's not defensive, it'll kill. Nice, bro. Nice. And then if he doesn't swap out, then we are Scarf Crook, so we can just come in and EQ. Um, Swellow, I love you. Ugh. Swellow. Love this Pokemon so much. Pluck. <laughs> Pluck him! And he kills. Oh my god. That's a 2-0. Unless this thing goes down to burn, which it might do. It doesn't. 2-0 on Lax. Yes. See, this was really important to me because we... Lax was the first person that I've ever played in a league battle before. Um, so this was important because now I've beaten him. Oh, that's so dope. That's so dope. It's Pluck Swellow, and it's good because I ran Pluck Swellow. That's that's what's getting to me right now because <laughs> I didn't have to run Brave Bird. I like I'm using my creativity and I'm I'm recognizing that I don't have to run Bla Brave Bird. I can run Pluck and I can kill his Rose Raid and his. Oh. <laughs> yes, perfect. But anyway, uh, GG to GG to Lax. Great battle, truly great battle. I was on my toes for a lot of that. Um, 
that's awesome. But yeah, GT Deluxe, he's a great battler. I'll leave his link in the description as per usual. I'll leave all coaches' links at the top of the description. So go check him out. Um, but with that, that wraps up this video so t for today. So, woo! Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to click the like button because that's what I'm doing a good job and that you guys want to see more. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get a part of this. Thank you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.